Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Ward from Western Wisconsin Health. I'm happy to be here today with our acupuncturist, Tia Albertson, who is going to talk to us about the healing powers of acupuncture and especially for stress reduction. Mm, yes, yeah, nice to be here today. Can you tell us a little bit about how acupuncture works, Tia? Yeah, so acupuncture kind of works on two different theories. So first I'm going to give you one um, more of a Western side viewpoint, and then I'll kind of go into more of the traditional Chinese medicine side point, okay? So the first one for Western side, um, the definition is the use of a sterile single-use meal at specific points on the body. Um, and how this kind of works is the point of where the insertion is, it kind of creates micro traumas there. I know that word can kind of seem kind of scary, but it's on a very macro kind of minor little level that you would never even know. Um, and what it does is it sends signals up kind of through the spine, into the brain, um, and it releases things called endorphins or hormones um, that kind of trigger the body's own healing kind of response. When we look at it from a traditional Chinese medicine viewpoint, um, it's more has to do with the languaging of obviously traditional Chinese medicine. So it's basically the meridians we are placing these points on the body. Um, I know that might feel like a con confusing word, just bear with me as I kind of go through this. Um, on these meridians, we put points at specific places. Um, and then how we determine that is on um, symptoms or signs that you may be coming in with. Um, and then I also look at maybe like you know, your tongue, the feeling of your pulse, your overall just kind of complexion. Um, and that's how I diagnose you and know how to put those points in the body to kind of help your body go back into a balancing mode or to heal itself. Yeah. Okay, that's a great description. So uh, I do know some people like to use acupuncture or various types of Chinese med medicine for stress reduction. Can you talk a little bit about how that works? Yes, um, I see quite a few patients who come in just for stress relief or as an addition to other things that they're coming in for. So how acupuncture can kind of help with stress relief is by um, it, the skin is kind of our closest system to the nervous system. So anytime that we are doing certain modalities of traditional Chinese medicine where a needle is placed, it's kind of triggering um, the skin to trigger our other nervous system. And what it's doing by this, it's helping us go into parasympathetic, which is a big word basically for our body's relaxed system. So we call it rest and digest. Um, our other system kind of puts us more on that fight or flight mode. Um, we need to tone that down a lot of times and stress kind of triggers that. So we're trying to get you more into a relaxed state um, through your nervous system. Another way that it kind of helps is we hold a lot of the stress, you know, we live in a world where it's go, go, go. Um, you know, these last couple years have been pretty stressful and we don't even realize that we're stressed sometimes, right? We hold things in our body. That's maybe the pain that we feel or the random headaches we just start to get or the digestive stuff that I'm like, wow, why do I have this all of a sudden? It can kind of help by telling the body to, again, relax itself, but also kind of releasing those excess emotions, emotions that we may be feeling, so stress being one of them. Um, if talk therapy is not really your thing, acupuncture kind of works and helps you get those things out without having to do that. So those are some simple kind of basic ways that acupuncture can help with stress reduction. Yeah, so in addition to, to acupuncture itself, there's lots of other recommendations yes. you might make about stress reduction. What, what are some typical um, options that you would talk about? Yeah, so a lot of times with my patients, you know, we'll do the acupuncture, but then I'll give them things to do at home as well. Um, traditional Chinese medicine really focuses on how can the person also heal themselves um, and what are great things that they can kind of, kind of do for themselves as well. So a lot of things that I do recommend to my patients are just making sure that they're eating good quality food. I like to say colorful um, you know, foods, making sure that we are cooking our vegetables, eating right for the seasons. And uh, maybe that might seem overwhelming, but you know, during a session we would cover all that. I give lots of like handouts and things like that as well. Um, simple things that people can do at home or just simply, you know, making sure they get out walking in the environment, things like that. Simply putting your feet in the sand or, you know, in the grass can really help center us. 
Um, and then as long as like doing things like spending time with family, being creative, you know, making sure that we have good sleep hygiene. Those are all things that I like to talk about with my patients and, and make sure that they have good information so they know how to be successful in that. Can you give us a fun fact about acupuncture? Yeah, so many people are scared of the acupuncture needles, but really um, acupuncture needles, the basic ones that we use, are only the width of three human hairs. So they're really tiny, hard to even see visibly to the light. Um, so most people don't feel much pain at all. Um, another fun fact that people don't know about is actually newborn babies can be needled on the first day and they can be needled every day if they really need it to be. Um, but we also offer a lot of needle-free options within TCM to um, provide care for people. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. There's so much to learn about acupuncture. Yes, there is. <laughs> so obviously, if you're interested in acupuncture, either trying a session or maybe asking some questions, certainly contact Tia to learn more. Um, join us again for more information from Western Wisconsin Health. You can visit our website at www.health.org. Thank you.